Mushroom microdose is kicking in, which means I had to pull over and pee. That's actually really fun, just carving up through the desert in the Subaru. All right, let's go. Here we are, a little update. We're at Bristol Farms here in Palm Springs. You can see we got the mountains and whatnot. It's pretty cool. So we found a Bristol Farms. I was gonna hit Whole Foods. I didn't think they would have a Bristol. Lazy Acres, the store that I would go to every day in Santa Barbara, is owned by Bristol Farms and they have the morning burst and this is what I would drink every morning. I also got some dried organic plums and some blackberries for the road. So let's check out our cooler as this plane passes overhead. All right, I got a lot of shit in my car because I'm driving to Ohio and I gotta put a bunch of stuff in storage, so don't judge me. Let's check out our cooler. I think we need more ice. Oh yeah, we need to get some more ice in here soon. We'll save this for tomorrow. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, cheers. We'll do a little sip of our morning burst here. This is really making my day for my drive. Oh yeah, here we go. Compass tattooed on my chest. Oh dear. I got it a few months ago. Organic carrots, organic apples, organic lemon. Cheers. Thank you, morning burst. Whoa! Yeah! I'm trying to figure out what the plan is. Gonna head to Austin, see my friend Justin, do a DMT ceremony, that whole thing, but that's days from now, so we're gonna figure out what the rest of our time is gonna look like. So I'll kinda show you guys how you can pick a, an, an exciting route for your drive. This is my 13th time driving across the country, something like that. Um, but I found a really southern route. So okay, so if we put in Tucson, five hours and 24 minutes, okay? That's the conventional route that's gonna take us to Phoenix. But as you can see here, if we wanna do an extra 10 minutes, there's this even more southern route, far more southern. We get to go right up next to the Mexican border, and then we get to drive through the heart of the Sonoran Desert. There's no towns in here, there's nothing, so we're gonna have to make sure we're fueled up on gas. I got my food, we got our orange juice and water, and this is gonna be an experience that's way cooler than just like a busy highway full of cars headed to Phoenix. This is gonna be really unique, I've never done it. I'm gonna look and try to find some cool camping spots along the way where we can pop up the tent. Um, I don't plan on making it to Tucson today, it's 11 a.m. Um, and that's a six hour drive. I don't feel like doing that. The sun sets at 5 p.m. now. So, so yeah, we're gonna pop up somewhere in the middle of the Sonoran Desert. So that's what we're gonna do, guys. Um, they didn't have Mountain Valley spring water, so I'm gonna actually stop by Whole Foods, grab some of that. I'm gonna top off our cooler with some ice, put some gas in the car, and we're gonna fucking go drive through the Sonoran Desert and see what happens. So we're gonna get some tunes bumping, smoke some weed, and get to it. See ya. Okay guys, I'm about to show you a prime example of why you never take the quickest route or the most easy route. Because I just stumbled upon something truly magnificent that I'm about to show you guys. Update, this right here is why you always take the longer, more off the beaten path. I'm literally in the middle of the desert. I just drove through Joshua Tree. There's mountains and desert everywhere. And randomly is this massive body of water called the Salton Sea. It is a landlocked body of water that is made up of deposits from the Colorado River, but it has nowhere to outlet to, and its only way out is through evaporation. So all the salts, all the minerals are left in the water, and it's 30% saltier than the Pacific Ocean. No life can live here, it's become extremely saline, and all life is pretty much dead in here. But it's just this massive sea, it's literally called a sea, 
Not a lake, smells more like the lake in Ohio where I'm from. The Salton Sea in the middle of the fucking desert. I mean, driving, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It's incredible. It's incredible. This country has so many amazing things to see if you're just willing to grab a tent, a cooler with some essentials, and hit the fucking road. I mean, if you wanted to, you could just pop a tent and stay on the Salton Sea. Who knows? Go have your adventure. I'm not gonna hang long, but it was pretty cool to see and something I'll never forget and it'll be fun to tell people about. Have you ever been to the Salton Sea? Uh -huh. It's literally spelled salt on sea, as like salt on because it's salty as fuck. So anyway, there you have it, Salton Sea. This was really cool. There's literally nobody down here. I was able to drive my car all the way up to the beach. There's just nothing happening out here. There's so much space in this country and in this world. We're just nothing happening. And you can just go check it out and have your adventure. Okay, update, I'm leaving Starbucks. I know it's not really my scene, but I mean, these places are just absolutely barren deserts, literally, when you're in the desert. I was in there getting some work done, and now I found a spot on the boondocking app. It's one hour away. We're gonna chase the sun and uh, hopefully get there with some light to set up our camp. Wait until you guys see this spot. I'm literally staying on the border of Mexico, like right there. I'm gonna have my tent looking at the border of Mexico. It's gonna be pretty cool. I've had my solar out here in the car charging up, because God knows these GoPro batteries go quick. So let's hit the road. We're gonna chase the sun and uh, have a beautiful drive. Hello everyone, update. It's pitch dark even though it's not even 6 p.m. I was driving through, I found a spot on Boondock, but then as I was driving, I found these epic sand dunes that I've never seen, I've never heard of. So I'm popping up my tent so that we wake up to these incredible sand dunes. I'm gonna go hike up to the top in the morning, watch the sunrise. It's gonna be incredible. Thank God. It's warmer here. Joshua Tree last night was icy. And uh, whoop. and now I'm barefoot and in little shorts about to set up a tent. So let's do this. So I'm using a different tent tonight than the one I had last night. I think this one's gonna be a bit cozier, although it's proving a little bit more difficult to put up. Uh, it's a little bit different, but I think it's gonna be warmer. Setting up a tent is so simple. Don't ever let that stop you from not getting out on the road and camping. Literally, you can buy a $40, $50 tent at Target. So easy to put up and you can sleep anywhere. If you can just have a tent in a car, you're fucking good. You don't need wilderness experience to tent camp in America, okay? You don't have to be a Boy Scout. I mean, realistically, you're gonna be hitting up coffee shops and uh, eating Chipotle every day and then just pop in a tent. So it's very simple. Don't uh, let lack of outdoor time stop you. Okay, I might be wrong. These might not even be the right poles for this tent. Yeah. Yeah, this isn't going well. I'm gonna switch to the other tent, but still don't let tents stop you. This one's just being complicated. Boom, we have our shelter. I'll wake up looking at the sand dunes. Good morning, everybody. We are somewhere right along the border of Mexico, and as promised, I found some incredible sand dunes for you guys to see, and the sun is about to come up. So let's go check it out. Here's the tent set up, our camp for the night. Oh yeah, sun's coming up. Let's go. Ah. Woohoo! Oh, these are massive, massive sand dunes. Oh, and your feet sink in. Oh. Ah. Oh. Woo! Oh. 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 Wow. Oh. Priceless, I feel like I'm in Namibia or something. Woo, see your feet sink?
Ah. Good morning, Father Son! Hey guys, quick interruption. I got some very cool mail that I want to open with you. This may be one of the coolest products I've ever worked with. It is a mushroom grow kit. Boom, magic bag. Okay, oh shit. Grow your magic t-shirt, nice dad hat, but most importantly, the magic bag. The bags and all of the contents inside of them are certified organic. So your mushrooms won't be exposed to inorganic chemicals that are taking away from their true magic. If you check out their website, it'll link you to where you can buy the cultures for the bags and grow your own medicinal mushrooms like lion's mane, turkey tail, and even dung loving mushrooms. And obviously when it comes to mushroom cultivation, Magic Bag and myself encourage you to follow whatever your local laws are in regards to what you're able to grow. And of course, whatever mushrooms you decide to grow, we encourage you to do so with intention and reverence. And the best part about Magic Bag is that they are a certified benefit corporation and they contribute a lot of their profits to psychedelic research to places such as John Hopkins and MAPS. Thank you to Magic Bag for hooking me up. If you guys would like to get your hands on some, check out their website. Now back to the video. Should we see if we can go to that taller point? It's crazy to think that we're hundreds of feet off the ground right now. <laughs> Imagine falling down in here. Could be fun. Wow. Oh my God, I gotta catch my breath. Wow. 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 I'm not sure if the GoPro is doing justice for any of this. I hope so. Out here in the border of California and Mexico. Wow. <laughs> Woo! Good morning, Father, Son. Thank you for giving us another beautiful day. Wow, this is one I'll never forget. Imperial sand dunes. Who would have known? Tent is all packed up. We're gonna grab our morning burst juice. You remember we bought at Bristol Farms. And I need ice, oh dear. Oh yeah, I need ice, ASAP. Throw our mic stand back there. Okay. Goodbye, California. Okay guys, little update. I need to shower. I have sand in my ear holes, in my eyes, in my beard. It just like falls out every time I touch myself. So I'm three hours out from Tucson. I am now in Arizona, so I have officially said goodbye to California. We're here in Arizona and we're gonna see what this place has in store for us. We're gonna head to Tucson, like I said. We got some uh, coffee. I found a really beautiful little coffee shop. We threw in some keto brains and some Malama mushrooms. This is my, uh, this is what I throw in all my coffees on the road. So this is a, uh, a nootropic creamer that like really helps the acidity of the coffee. You know, it's got coconut in it and the MCT oil. It's kind of like a bulletproof coffee to go. And then I throw in Malama mushrooms, cordyceps, cacao mix. This here is a bulletproof coffee, and the sad part about it is that it doesn't contain Malama mushrooms. Malama mushrooms is a staple in my diet. I put it in every single coffee I drink, but I'm here in Bali and I've run out of Malama Mushrooms, who happens to be the sponsor of today's video. Malama Mushrooms is a medicinal mushroom company based on the Big Island of Hawaii. They carry 100% organic fruiting body mushrooms, which is very important because a lot of companies are peddling you garbage myceliated grain. That's a story for another video. But Malama Mushrooms can offer you lion's mane, cordyceps, turkey tail, reishi, chaga, everything you need to support your immune health your brain function, and your energy. They have an eight mushroom chocolate bar. They have Kona coffee grown right on the Big Island of Hawaii where they're based. It's an amazing company and I'm honored to be working with them. And it is truly a sad day anytime I do not have Malama in my cup. So if you would like to not be sad like me, you can hit the link in my description and save some cash on your first Malama order. Massive thank you to Malama Mushrooms for sponsoring this video. Now let me get back to enjoying my subpar coffee. 
please don't mind my car. And I also got uh, this little thing, this little uh, power converter that you plug into a car charger and I can plug in wall outlet stuff. Very handy for me right now. Let's see how this thing works. I'll keep you guys updated. I'm feeling good. We got a full tank of gas. Oh my God, and look at that. We got 777 on the dash, of course. Full tank of gas and uh, our cooler is filled with fresh ice. The milk is ice cold. I just pounded some. Very happy. My car is getting a little bit messy. I need to get to Tucson and get my shit together. So that's where we're headed next. <laughs> 